I like that I'm a sidekick now. A sidekick? I, start, I started out this morning, I was your partner. Now I'm a sidekick. By the end of the you evening, the I'll just be the guy that stands behind her. There's oh, oh. nothing wrong with that, you know? I'm gonna let my star shine. That's true. That's true. I'm gonna be fired after this. So who's in charge now? Well, I mean, Lou is always in charge. Yes, although I can also be Master here Marvel. as Fitz. So I'm, I'm yeah. going to be here as Fitz too. <laughs> So, oh Simmons, you're so pretty. How's that? Bits? That was really great. Oh, that was pretty good, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Yeah, this oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> so many talents. So, um, just, just See, real... and I'm going to make you sorry for not coming. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> is, that, is that how we're... So, hey, you know, um, just in a short time period, could you t give us a preview of where we're going with the rest of the show and, uh, and what about season four? Yeah, what about? Uh, yeah, where are we going? Well, that's... <laughs> As we used to like to say, that's level seven. Uh, no, I, I mean, look, what's very clear is that we've set up from the beginning of the season that uh, the idea that in humans are around us, that an almost anyone at any time might be able to pop and have abilities. Uh, and, oh, was that a hint? <laughs> and, and that that irrevocably changes their life. And for a show that started out with the idea that not all heroes are super, has now grown into, there are supers among us and what are we going to do about it? Uh, and, and how we can look at what's happening on the show. And then, you know, Marvel's always strongest when it actually takes things that are happening out and around us. And the level of intolerance that's in the world right now, whether it's because of race or whether it's because of religion or whether it's because of gender, it is, is just at an all-time high. And so to be able to see that through the prism of Marvel and, and see how people that have powers and some people that don't, that's really good storytelling. And, and what Jed Whedon and Marissa Tanceron and Jeff Bell as our showrunners and our extraordinary writing staff have been doing from the very beginning is setting that up. Mm -hmm. So that as we get towards the rest of the season, what you're going to see is is that that fuse get ignited in a way that just even in episode 314 where we introduce the Watchdogs, this is a, a homegrown group of people who've decided that they don't like what's happening out there and they want to do something about it. And so you know it, this is this is now spreading out beyond Hydra and and or what. Uh, what Ward or whatever Ward is is doing. It, it's now getting into, like, should there actually be in humans? And what does that mean to the world? And you're part of that. I am part of that. Simmons has got strong opinions on that. And um, just real fast, he put, he put your character through hell and back. What do you really think about that? Yeah, God. I mean, <laughs> getting the chance to do something very challenging as an actor is, the, is you know, the dream come true. And there was there was some challenging moments, but I was very felt very lucky to be able to um, to, to just get the opportunity to do that. And as yeah, I it's interesting because when we told job. her that that she was going to the bottom of the ocean, and then we threw her in the bottom of the ocean, and they had to figure out how to get out. I mean, that was real. That was a documentary. Like they, the actors were actually in jeopardy. At at the time, you said, right. and if they didn't make it, Who you know cares? what could yeah, happen. There's more. There's more. Yeah. It's at Marvel. We use live ammo. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, it's thank been a pleasure. Really thank, nice. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.